Hello guys, so this is the May A2 with the code name is Jasmine and in this video I'll show you how to flash custom ROM custom recovery using the Pixel Experience Android 13 okay. all the file and step I will provide in my blog you can check the link in the description box Okay. so I have tested this ROM and it's quite nice, very stable doesn't have major bug and i like it very much because it's smooth i don't feel any lag and it is also safe it is past the root beer safety net app list detector and other stuff so stay tuned and check it out okay, hello guys assalamualaikum we meet again with ombob and now in my hand i have the kind of old pond Okay, this is the Mi A2, Mi A2 Large, and it has a code name of Jasmine. Okay, so you can we can see right here. The last update for this phone is Android 10. Okay, <coughs> and it's using the version 11.0.28. Okay, this is the official uh android one update for response so you're stuck on android 10. so in this video i will show you how to let's custom recovery and custom rom using pixel experience on android 13. okay <clears throat> uh first thing to do make sure you have unlock your bootloader as usual hit the build number five times and then go back go back again go to the settings advanced developer option <clears throat> and find your om unlock okay you can see right here it's already unlocked so it's become gray but i will show you anyway to unlock this device okay next make sure remove all emails and then turn off the phone we want to go to the facebook mode okay so Press volume down and power button at the same time, like usual. And let's switch the screen. And next step, okay, we need to do unlock bootloader. Just open the CMD or power shell and type password space or M space unlock. Okay. And don't forget to connect USB cable. <laughs> And you can see right here there is an error message device already unlocked so it means that our device has been locked and if you haven't it will <clears throat> start unlocking and reboot the phone automatically and goes to the stock recovery to format the data okay and next <clears throat> we need to boot into the custom recovery okay so in this video I'll use the pixel experience custom recovery custom recovery but feel free to use other custom recovery if you want to such as the TRP orange fox PBRP and other stuff and for the next step we need to flash the custom recovery okay just run the command Facebook space Flash space boot space and click and drag custom recovery. We're going to use the pixel experience. Okay, and now we need to boot it into the custom recovery. We cannot boot it using command, so we have to reboot the pawn. And when the pawn rebooted quickly press the volume up okay all the volume up about five seconds okay let's try it enter and press volume up hey okay. still press the volume up until it goes to the custom recovery okay <clears throat> next we need to what is it uh install the copy partition okay so select adb side load 
ADB type ADB space side load space and uh, select the copy partition. Okay. And then go to the pawn right here. Navigate navigate to the apply update right here. And select apply from ADB. Okay, hit enter. It will start flashing. You can see right here the progress. <clears throat> okay, so it's uh, meant to make the partition more consistent. So, you know, so we don't have a problem while flashing the custom ROM. Okay. Just wait. It just take about one minute. Okay, done. And uh, next step, we need to reboot to recovery again. So select uh, advance and select reboot recovery. Okay. After we boot, after we boot again to the recovery, we need to go to the fast boot T. Okay. Not the bootloader, it's different. <clears throat> okay. Now go to the advance and enter fast boot the first menu. Okay. <clears throat> Next we need to run the wipe super fast boot space wipe dash super. Okay, now it's done. Okay, Facebook space wipe super space super empty. Make sure you're using the latest version, the ADB tools. Okay, I'm using the version 34.03. Okay, <clears throat> and next we want to go to the recovery again. So navigate, select enter recovery hit enter now we are in the recovery again scroll down apply update and select apply from adb now let's type adb space side load and select the custom rom okay we're using the pixel experience on the retro scene and you can see right here now it's start flashing okay we must wait because it takes times. The size is about 1.5 gigabyte. Okay. So I'll just skip this one and we'll continue after it finishes. And now we're already done. Okay. So now back to the phone. Okay, select factory set, format data. And when it finishes, we can reboot system now and let's wait okay so like i mentioned before make sure you're using the adb the latest adb platform tools otherwise it will not work okay so i have a problem before i cannot flash the super empty but after upgrade the adb platform it works and we are now in the welcome screen okay all you need to do just hit next next until it goes to the home screen and now we are in the home screen so i have installed several apps right here like the root beer cpu throttle safety net and other stuff okay let's check it out let's scroll down and you can see right here we have a new display okay we have a power button menu right here okay and lots of stuff okay and this rom is quite fast let's go to the settings about pawn me a2 pixel experience android 13 you can see right here it's using android security update on may 5 2023 okay now let's open the root beer just to make sure that the pawn is safe enough 
to the daily driver so we can see right here not read it so nice a paper list detector it will read the edges l post l post module and other stuff okay nice safe and safety net <clears throat> So if you pass all the three apps, it means that you can install banking apps, Google Pay, hell writing such as Uber, Gojek, Grab, and other stuff. Okay. And you can see right here the CPU throttle performance is quite good between 138 and 60. Okay, quite high. Very good. Nice. <laughs> and you can see right here me a2 and re13 <clears throat> and the clock is between 600 and 1.8 the low clock and the high clock is between 1.1 gigahertz and 2.2 gigahertz okay and we can see right here the ram usage is it uses about 3 gigabyte from 6 giga and the storage takes about 20 gigabyte from the 128 okay very nice okay so i also already test the offline charger it's working it's not a problem the wi-fi sim card gps and other stuff also work so quite nice so for the verdict i will say this room is quite good enough very smooth very fast and doesn't have a bug major bug but i don't know if it has a small bug it, but it doesn't a problem it it is not a problem i mean <clears throat> okay so that's all guys i hope it helps you and if you want to buy me coffee you can check the link in the description box or paypal or somewhere okay thank you see you on the next video assalamualaikum